Tracy clearly revelling in the whole atmosphere and even doing the talking, Muhammad Ali bit to Edgeman Lewis, maybe just saying, well, hello there, but looking absolutely relaxed, Tracy. I've never seen him look so relaxed for any fight. Revelling in the atmosphere, liking the way the crowd's treating him and ready to defend his world title. The welterweight championship of the world, Stracy the champion, red, white and blue shorts, Hedgeman Lewis the challenger from Detroit and Los Angeles. A sharp, crafty boxer Lewis is going to make a fast start in this because it's generally thought that his big chance lies in getting this over in the early rounds. Stracy sometimes a very slow starter, takes time to warm up. And Lewis is making a big attack from the outset. He gets through with right hands to Stracy's head. Stracy was on the floor in the first round of his title fight with Jose Napoles in Mexico City last December. But he got up to win. at the moment in the first minute. Edgeman Lewis moving fast and easy. challenger looking sharp and aggressive ripping through all types of punches jabs hooks uppercuts showing the lot in this opening two minutes Lewis half a pound heavier at 10, 6 and 3 quarters. That's a good left hook from Stracy. Right, come back. Lewis dangerous with that left hand underneath to the body. Harry Gibbs, the referee, warning Lewis about his head. This opening round went Lewis's way at the start, but finishing Stracy's way. <laughs> Tremendous attack put in by Stracy at the end. He liked that little heave of the shoulders there as he went back to the corner. Well satisfied with what he'd done. And this crowd in the Empire Paul Wembley liked it too. Stracy had problems in the opening couple of minutes. Lewis set a fast pace. We thought he would. But Stracy came through it. And towards the end of that first round, he began to put good punches together and started off by a sweeping left hook that absolutely swung Lewis round and off balance. Stracy, 25 years old, his first defence, champion just 14 weeks, winner of 17 of his last 19 fights and 43 out of his total 47. Been beaten only three times. John Henry Stracy from Bethnal Green. Lewis is 35 years older. Stracy asked for encouragement and support from the British public, and he's certainly getting it here tonight. thinking man's boxer, crafty mover, but being put under pressure as early as the second. Nice short right from Stracy over the top. 
Lewis being forced back. Not looking very happy, Lewis. Being beaten to the punch. Well, punching with both hands. Tracy wearing a puzzle frown as he so often does in the ring. It's Tracy tearing in with these hooked punches. Prepared to take one to give one. no saving of energy in this one neither of them thinking about 15 rounds I'll tell you that no way they're pacing themselves this is all or nothing on these early rounds for two better opening rounds to a world championship fight than this and they've treated it as though it's an eight rounder and not a 15 rounder Stracey's second round undoubtedly Lewis at times in that second round looked just a little bit worried and a bit puzzled as to what was coming to him. Once or twice he got caught completely by surprise because when he expected Stracey to back off, Stracey didn't. He came back at him with two hands. And once or twice Lewis looked just that little bit shaky. He's 30 years old. He's had 61 professional fights, a pro now for 10 years. Only been beaten six times in those 61 fights. 52 wins and three draws and with him in that corner with the spectacles is the famous Eddie Futch one of the greatest trainers in the boxing world Eddie Futch who uh, is with Joe Frazier and has also been with Ken Norton and in fact uh, both those men of course uh, the two men who beat Muhammad Ali and who's to say that uh, it wasn't a little bit of Eddie Futch that brought that about straight into the attack. Neat jabs from Lewis. The thing about Lewis is we're not sure whether he can keep up a fast-paced fight for more than six or seven rounds. He folded very fast against Jose Napoles after nine rounds. trying to keep him away with the left jab the pace slowing not surprisingly Hedgeman Lewis being foxy Leading him to the jab. Every now and again, a lot of fury erupting. Good left hook from Stracey. Stracey 
Tracy picking the spots. around this third one than the first two the pace had to slacken a bit Stracey again coming strongly towards the end this is probably deliberate policy Stracey done more of the punching Narrowly for Stracey in that round. So it's two good rounds in a row the British world champion has had. Moving out into a slight lead now after three rounds. A bit concerned about Hedgeman Lewis's face. They've smeared a lot of grease, particularly around the left eyebrow. You can see it for yourself there. And a lot over the right as well. Look at that. They are clearly worried about cuts there. Good looking man, Lewis. still reaching for the face of Stracey with his left Look at that sideways stance of Lewis getting the most out of his reach good technician Lewis has been in with some of the best men in the world never quite made the top two attempts at the title with Jose Naples got beaten both times this is his third and almost certainly final attempt to win the big one. Heads cracking together. Stracy winced. Feeling each other's hooks. Settling down into a really hard battle between two good men. Stracey keeping himself on top all the time, doing most of the leading. Bruce getting his share in in counter-attacks. Stracey clearly feeling that he's got the strength of this man, he's got the measure of him for strength. Prepared to put it all into these early rounds and trust to his stamina against Lewis's, and he may well be right. Lewis does a little wander around the ring, trying to find his stool. Eddie Futch, the trainer of uh, Lewis, has gone over to Harry Gibbs to have a word with him about something, I don't know what, but um, he's had his word with Harry Gibbs, and now he's back in the corner, 
with Hedgeman Lewis. Lewis had his uh, first professional fight when he was 20 years old, back in 1966. He's a thinking fighter who says, uh, I get a lot of satisfaction from making guys miss even more sometimes than from belting them. I like to make my opponents look silly, he says, and I've made fellas cry because they couldn't hit me. Well, he hasn't made Stracy cry tonight because Stracy's hit him a lot already. And one or two bumps around the eyes, testimony to that, and on goes the grease again. should have the harder punch on all known form. He destroyed Napoli's, whereas the old champion twice beat Lewis. Lewis holding on and Stracy dissuading him with those uh, little illegal taps underneath like that. Nothing serious. taking those jabs in the face, standing his ground and moving on. Lewis so far has taken Stracy's best punch as well and still moving quite lightly. Stracy holding Lewis's head down. That's an old Muhammad Ali trick. doing too much inside. Twenty seconds to the end of the fifth. Strace is round again. But always having to work hard for it. Winning these rounds by sheer quantity of punches. Lewis showing no sign of wilting. So there's five hard rounds completed. That's a third of the scheduled 15 already gone. With Stracy on my card out in front, but being made to work for it, it's a tough and grueling fight so far. We rather thought the early rounds would be hard because we expected Lewis to do his best work in the early rounds on the assumption that he might not want to go 15 at 30 years of age. But Stracy's come through the first round five rounds, won himself a lead on my card anyway, and really things ought, if the form book is right, uh, if we've re read it right, things ought to begin to go Stracy's way as we move further into this fight. Well, time will tell. But Stracy clearly trading on his stamina to be better than Lewis's. Again, Lewis coming out, looking a bit like a clown with white grease all over his face. But nothing clownish about his fighting or his boxing. 
good technician knows his way around the ring but hasn't perhaps made as good a start as he would have hoped two good punches again from Stracey and Lewis moves in to hold on Lewis lying on Stracey Crispness is leaving the jab of Lewis. Those left hands are not coming up with the sting that they had in the earlier rounds. away from one, Stracey got him with the other. rubbing in again into the face of Stracey. Stracey a little bit vulnerable around the eyes himself. That's a fair right from Lewis. One out of the blue. And another. Stracey always staying with him, staying close. Ignoring the punches coming his way. Two solid blows, you could hear them, to Lewis's head. Good thumping left hook into the stomach from Stracey. And Lewis wobbles for the first time. That body punch really shook him up. Round six. There's the bell and they haven't heard it, there's so much noise. The end of round six and Lewis was wobbling all the way to the corner. Well, Stracey will know that he had him going there. And the head goes straight into Stracey's face and he winced with it again. No respite for Lewis. The 30-year-old challenger looking just that little bit vulnerable now. What a good right cross from Stracey. Thumped into Lewis's head and he hangs on desperately. Head on Stracey's shoulder, Harry Gibbs tells him about it. And suddenly, Hedgeman Lewis is looking all over the shop. This challenger may be folding up. Stracy trying to prise himself loose so he can get a good shot. Big bump coming up at the side of Lewis's left eye. under tremendous pressure keeps getting backed up to the ropes and having to fight his way off the head going into Stracey's face Stracey absolutely going for it flags waving at the ringside the head in the face again and thousands of people boo Lewis the action is frantic in this second On the brink of victory, you feel, and can't quite clinch it.
Phil Lewis tries to box his way out of trouble and fiddle his way up. Tracy stumbles. Tracy getting wild now, looking a bit tired in this round with the effort. Lewis's his arms coming down. Tracy hitting and hitting and hitting and the man won't go. Hanging on for dear life. Harry Gibbs doing almost as much work as the two men. What a round that was. And Tracy flopped under his stall very tired from the exertions and he's got a little bit of trouble with the left eye Terry Lawless slaps the swab straight onto it maybe a slight graze there that was a sensational attack by Stracy put everything together in that seventh round trying to get rid of this stubborn challenger hit him with everything but Lewis kept his feet and kept his boxing brains about him Always threatening to win in that round, Stracy, but never quite made it. How much has it taken out of Stracy and how much has it taken out of Lewis, the challenger? Looking like a, a Sugar Ray Robinson of many years ago. Lewis's eyes drooping in the corner, almost as though it's too much effort to come out for the eighth just about lifted himself off the stool. Is he that tired or is he foxing? out through the Empire Pool Wembley urging him on he doesn't need any urging but it's nice to hear it Lewis holding very very glad to hold at that Tracy finding it hard to mount such a furious onslaught as he put on in the last round. Head again, jammed up into Tracy's face. Harry Gibbs tells him yet again. Lewis finding a little spring in the legs. First time for some time. Hand to work again in Tracy's face. The old campaigner, still lively. Two good punches, three good punches from Tracy, two to the body, one to the head. So Stracy finds a punch to get at him. Lewis hasn't found the strength to do too much in this round. Equally, Stracy hasn't managed to put him away. A tired looking challenger seeks the minute's rest very thankfully. 
Benjamin Lewis still trying to raise a little smile and a wink to his corner. The going becoming progressively more hard for him. There were three very good punches put together by Stracey in that last round. Two into the body, there's the first one. Couple more to the head. Always doing good work, Stracey, in this fight, but still finds the man upright in front of him. Surrounded by Union Jacks. And a hall full of people willing him to win. Tracy a long way in front of Michael. The ninth round is as far as Lewis got with Jose Naples when he fought him in 1974. Punches from Lewis. Still danger there from the challenger. Tracy seems capable of taking them. Good left. Almost swept Lewis off his feet. and talking to him. Here's some of the torrid action from that last round. When his legs wouldn't hold him up, back into the ropes he went. Only the ropes saved him there. Eddie Futch having a word in Harry Gibbs here. Now then, are they going to let him go on or is this it? I think Gibbs is saying, well, we'll just see how it goes for one more. I'm trying to lip read. Now he's gone over to Stracey's corner. Could this be the fateful round? Stracey's first successful defence. He's got the man really at his mercy. Stracey threw one there while 
Harry Gibbs was trying to break him and he got ticked off for it rightly. Lewis looks as though he's too tired to go on. Feeble, looking around the ring anywhere but it's Tracy. He really doesn't know where he is, Lewis. It's all instinct, Mark. Backed up in his own corner, and he must go now. Harry Gibbs hovering close. One really good, well-timed punch would finish this. Tracy not as strong as he might be. He's done a lot of work. Still this incredibly brave and game challenger tries to box. And Stracy keeps having to come back and come back at him. And he won't go down. His legs have gone, never on the floor, Lewis. What a brave man, and the whole of Wembley now, rising and applauding John H. Tracy, who defends the World Worldweight Championship successfully on his own soil. Delighted he is. This is a rare moment in British boxing. 25-year-old Tracy, first successful defense.